This is Kevin Mayo, and today we're drinking Sierra Nevada Hoptimum 2015. Uh, it's been a couple years since I've had this beer, and it is exactly three months old, actually three months on a day. It was bottled on April 29th, and today's August 1st, oh, April 28th. Uh, Hoptimum is the biggest whole cone IPA we've ever produced at 100 IBUs. Whole cold, a whole cone hurricane of flavor, aggressively hopped and dry hopped and torpedoed. Hoptimum delivers ultra intense flavors to hop fanatics everywhere. And it's 10% ABV, 10.4% alcohol by volume, ABV, whole cone imperial IPA from Sierra Nevada. And it is really their big ass, kick ass IPA. So let's give it a shot and see what we got. Like I said, it's been a couple years since we've drank it, so. As always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. And go ahead and leave comments because we love talking about beer. Now hopefully it's not too far past. I'm hoping that the 10% will help keep it a little bit fresher. It's got a lot of carbonation. I got bubbles streaming up through it. It is... Oh, probably a, I'd say orange. I don't want to say call it light or dark. And it's got a solid two and a half fingers of, let's say, just off white head on it. Aroma wise, you get, a, you get the malt background, you get a little caramel. You're getting a little pine. And you should actually get a lot of pine. You know, they described it as using resinous hops. So I should be getting a fair amount of pine. A little bit of grapefruit. That's about it. Grapefruit, pine. Let's give it a taste and see what we got. So it's got a fair amount of sweetness in it, and that's from the malt trying to balance off some of the hops. Taste a little bit of that caramel. It's got a massive amount of bitterness in it. You're really tasting that 100 IBUs. Just a hint of the pine. And it got a hint of the grapefruit, a little bit of citrus flavor in there. Again, it's three months old. I don't know if it was a little bit more floral, a little bit more flavorful earlier. This goes to uh, really basically is just a bitter hop bomb. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. Uh, I mean, that's what it is. It's massive IBUs. It's got enough malt background to balance it off. But... The hops are, I don't say masked, because they're just going for the massive bittering. So I would have liked a little bit more aroma. I guess I'm more of an East Coast IPA guy anyway, not a West Coast guy. So it is a true top of the line West Coast IPA. Get the solid bitter in the back of the throat. I mean, you just taste it. The bitter just lasts 10%, so it really kicks your ass. Does got some grapefruit, does have some pine. Got a little bit of sweetness from the malt, trying to balance off that, those hops. Uh, Score-wise, I, I would actually call it a B beer. I'd give it an 87 out of 100. Till next time, keep drinking.